Frothing Milk on the Gaja Academia gives you access to the best of both worlds. So, the Academia is what's called a one-touch espresso machine. And what that means is that you can make a specialty milk beverage simply by pressing the button on the machine and it will froth and dispense that milk without you pressing any other buttons or moving your cup. This is accomplished by the Academia's one-touch frothing carafe, a convenient accessory that locks into the front of the machine in use and stores easily in your refrigerator between uses. Now, on the other hand, the Academia also has a manual steam wand. So, what that means is not only do you have the ability and convenience to make drinks with just one push, but the Academia gives you the ability to manually froth and test your barista metal. Now, for those of you who have frothed milk at home, you know that frothing milk can lead to some of the best texture that matches that which you would find in your local cafes. Now, regardless of how you prefer to prepare your milk drinks, the Academia has a solution to you. And I'm so excited to show them off now. Before we go ahead and make some specialty milk drinks, I do want to touch base just on the programming menu for those drinks. Now, just like with the coffee, you can simply press the drink menu icon and you'll be presented with all of the options for your programming. Now, the buttons on the right of the machine, cappuccino, latte macchiato, and latte, correspond with the options for cappuccino, latte macchiato, and hot milk. So that latte button is actually going to get you hot milk. So keep that in mind if you're wondering what the full range of uh, drinks are that this machine can produce. Now, let's go ahead though and scroll down to our cappuccino. Just like with the coffee drinks, we have the ability to change our strength, whether or not we want to pre-infuse our temperature and the volume of coffee. Our additional options though are milk length, which is the volume of milk dispensed into our cup, and milk foam. So milk foam is a feature that's unique to the Gaja Academia, and that's going to determine the amount of milk foam that is dispensed. So it's either going to be more airy and frothy, or it's going to be more like hot milk. And so that distinction between textures can make all the difference in a type of drink. So if you stay tuned, I'm actually going to show you a drink made the same way two times, but with a min and max value for this milk foam. So let's go down here and take a look. And you can see there are actually three settings. The drinks default here to maximum, but I will make you a min. Now, just like with coffee, we can actually program our milk volume in here, but just like with coffee as well, my preference is going to be to use our push and hold programming method so that we can actually watch the amount of drink that's being dispensed into our cup and program that way as opposed to using this menu. And then you can still go back in and make refinements as needed. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and make a cappuccino. So with our menu out of the way, let's just cover the basics. These are all one touch buttons, meaning that if we press cappuccino, latte macchiato, or latte, AKA hot milk, these drinks will be prepared all at once. Now you need to use the auto frothing carafe in order to do this. This is a carafe that locks into this front socket here, and we will swing the arm out once the drink is ready to be brewed. Now, just a couple of nuances here, but it's important to note that if you ever want to take this lid off, you need to make sure that the arm is actually swung outward. There's a small clip underneath the arm that locks it in place when it is closed. So if you ever want to open it, simply swing that out, give it a quick pinch, and you can lift the top off. Now, there is also a notch here in the drip tray, so we'll simply line that up and the Academia will beep to confirm that you have successfully attached the carafe. So I told you that we were going to program our cappuccino and we'll do that right now. Let's go ahead and swing the arm into position, get our cup set up correctly. And by pushing and holding, we can now program the cappuccino to our liking. And the eco mode alert is showing us simply that with eco mode turned on, the machine is not idling with as much power dedicated to its heating up. So ultimately what's going to happen is it may take a little bit longer to prepare your drink if you're in eco mode. But 
The Academia has two boilers, one for coffee brewing and one for frothing, so it generally heats up to froth temperature much faster than many other super automatic machines. Now we're being prompted to rinse the carafe. The auto rinse function is something that you can actually set in the Academia's menu. Now, if you never want to have to remember to rinse your carafe when you're done preparing a milk drink, Simply set that to on and make sure that your arm is closed after you're finished dispensing your milk. Then, just like you saw here, the machine will automatically rinse the frothing circuit. Now, as you noticed too, when I was dispensing milk and dispensing coffee, the stop button for the milk was here on the right side of the machine while coffee was on the left. Moving on to manual frothing on the Academia, we'll go ahead and use the commercial style wand here in the front. But let's first get rid of our auto frothing carafe. Now, if you're ever finished frothing for the day, you can simply remove the carafe from the front of the machine. Now, assuming that you have the quick clean on, I'm going to hope that you have this nice and rinsed out before you put it in the fridge. So that's where this little piece comes in handy. This is a magnetic plug that fits onto the socket where the carafe installs in the machine. You can pop that in place to preserve the aesthetics on the Academia when you're storing the carafe in the refrigerator. Let's go ahead and set that aside. Now, the manual steam wand is fairly short on this machine, so there's a couple of things that I'd like to go over first before we start frothing with it. You really want to make sure that you have a smaller frothing pitcher Anything, say, from 10 to 12 ounces would be best for a machine like this, and you're going to probably be frothing 6 to 8 ounces of milk at a time. The milk will expand in the pitcher, and that's why you need something that's just a little bit bigger. But to froth, we are going to need to position the wand inside to get a roll in our milk, and that's something that we just can't do when the pitcher is much larger. Now, the other thing, too, is that we're going to want to start by purging this wand just to get any of the condensation inside out. That's why I have my second pitcher here, just to collect some of that condensation. Now, to steam, we'll press our final button down here on the left, and it will prompt us, do we want hot water or do we want steam? I'll show you hot water in just a moment, but to start, we want steam. Let's go ahead and push that now. And with our condensation purged, we can go ahead and start to froth. Now, I've filled my pitcher up so that I've got about a finger's width of space between the top of the milk and then the bottom of this pitcher. And I'm going to use this pitcher to simply guide the tip of the wand down towards the surface of the milk. So we want to have that start as a you know submerged position, and we'll go ahead and start frothing. And if we're doing it right, we'll hear the telltale ripping sound in the milk. Frothing with this wand is going to take some practice, but you'll know you're close to being done when the pitcher is just getting slightly too hot to hold. Now I can see that I've got maybe a bit more fo foam than I might need, say for something like latte art, but we've got one more step. We want to go on ahead and purge this wand again, just to get anything out that might have gone in during frothing. So this time I'll select hot water. And bear in mind that we can program the volume of hot water using the drink menu. We have a clear solid stream, so we're good to go. I'll brew some coffee into my cortado glass here, and we'll go ahead 
and pour a drink. Now I did cheat slightly and pour off just a little bit of my milk, but now as you can see we have our good shot and we'll go ahead and see what we can pour. And we see the beginnings of an amateur bit of latte art. Now, again, the Academia's wand does require a bit of nuance to get used to the shape and the way that it dispenses foam, but with practice, you can texture milk for specialty drinks as an alternative to using the carafe. And that covers how the Academia can be your at-home barista or make a barista out of you. Now, something to mention as the hot water was blended into our manual frothing segment is that, again, you can program your desired volume of water to be dispensed when you select the hot water option. If you have, say, a cup of tea that you drink every morning, or you prefer making something like a cafe Americano by blending hot water with your shots, you can always program those volumes into the menu and have the machine dispense your desired amount of water on demand. And that's it for frothing on the Academia.